Hello, my name's Dr. Brett Davies. Well, now you're faced with the question of a director. Well, what's a director? What's a shareholder? A director has the day-to-day -day management of the company. A director may have no interest in the company, may not be a shareholder, but it has the day-to-day -day management of the company. Well, what's a shareholder? What's a member? A member and shareholder are the same thing. A shareholder and a member own shares in your proprietary limited company. So if I own 80 out of the 160 shares, I'm, I own 50% of the company. I may not be a director, I may opt to have my spouse as the director or one of my friends as the director, or I might own 100% of the shares and I might be the sole director, or I may be a director and have no shares. All the shares might be held by my, my wife and I might be a director. There's a bit of a risk in being a director, so maybe I should be a director and my wife holds all the good assets. Now, the first director will also hold two other positions, and that is as company secretary and also public officer. Now, the company secretary is the person that looks after the company secretary file and those sorts of day-to-day -day management issues of keeping records and lodging things with ASIC. The other person is the public officer, and that's the lucky person that the Australian Taxation Office, the ATO, will contact if they need to contact the company. They'll contact you as the public officer. And the first director will hold all three positions, director, company secretary, and public officer. Now, how many directors do you need? Two. No, that's not right anymore. No, the laws changed 20 years ago. You're behind the times. You now only need to have one director of your proprietary limited company. Now, there is risk in being a director, so I think you'd be very cautious about how many directors you have. Now, sure, if you if you this is a special purpose company for your self managed super fund, sure, you need to have all the members being the directors, and that might be your wife and yourself. But normally, if it's just a normal company, then you may want to be happy with just one director. It doesn't mean that you're cutting out your other business owners. That they've got one third, one third, one third, that's fine. You don't all have to be directors, but it's up to you. You can have as many directors as you can have under the ASIC law. If you have any questions as you build this proprietary bit of company, then telephone us. We're a law firm and we can give you even more legal advice.